Hello everyone, and welcome to the fourth episode of the uh, series of Radical Red. I would like to sh uh, start this episode by simply going through all of the subscribers I have in the uh, Pokebox that we have. So obviously, the names of all of these Pokemon are names of other people who are part of the community, like our communities that I'm part of, or are named of subscribers and stuff like that. So we have 43 Streak, Nathan C, Feng Min, Taha Alarm, DHRU Toys, Jnetic, Jabba Jaws, Gamer C, Nightmare, Jamie, Doc J, Jughead, Boskin B, Conqua, Nago Smith, Zenified, Smilers, uh, Harrison C, Lord Edge, Magical Panda, Bray Bray, Craig the Fifth, uh, Giergis, Heydoski, Kyo Kyle, Baja Chaos, Aldi Wi Fi, Oz Fuzz, Hot Tohero, which I hope is not something bad, uh, Snow, Vim Mortal, One Clutch, Tej Kumar, Ringwraith, and uh, Manga Kusao. We also have the Pokemon that are in our party, which are as follows. We have Arthur Cox, Dreo, Loka Joji, Smazzy, Shroomzy, and Raptis. Or Rapsy. I always have trouble with that name. Yeah, so let's hopefully this time uh, give Brock a fucking run for his money so he can actually progress in the game. Uh, who knows, uh, I just spent uh, a bit of time grinding up the Mankey just so we could use uh, uh, another fighting type. Because I did have uh, Butterfree as my uh, fifth, uh, sixth Pokemon. But uh, they just kept dying really quickly and they just didn't do anything. Um, so yeah. I've kind of figured out a little bit more of a game plan this time. Um, so I'm hoping that we're actually able to facilitate it this time. Oh, that's actually really... If we can... Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, well, I guess Arthur Cox did their job. Uh, our... Uh, uh, we actually have an ability where when we get a crit or a crit happens in general, we get max attack. Um, so we could have actually have done something really good there. Um, I don't know who they're going to send out, but it's probably going to be Onyx. So I'm going to go for Shroomzy. Arshin. I guess we can go for Rock Tomb and see if that... We have good defense on this... Oh my god. This Arshin is way too strong. I haven't been able to beat this Arshin a single time, by the way. Okay, so plot. So Shroomzy was our best bet against Onyx. Um, however, Smazzy is actually the Pokemon that is for Arshin. So we can. This is actually the biggest threat that uh, Brock actually has, because Onyx eventually goes down, but that one usually uh, wipes my entire party because too many Pokemon faint. And yeah, this one. This one's just fine. So I think we actually win this one. Wow, did uh, did Brock go easy on us? He self-destructed his Geodude and lost the will to fight. This is a Grass-type hidden power. Uh, which is kind of weird that a Fire-type would have a Grass move. When, the fire, when uh, you would be thinking about it from uh, the perspective of uh, like using it against a Water-type. But I guess like, it's a cool way to kind of mix it up, I guess. And because everyone's kind of at the same level of power, it's not like you're typically going to one-shot each other. So I guess it works. Okay, so there's only one Pokemon left now. And uh, it is their Onyx. <laughs> it itches! It itches! I really want to know what they meant by that. When they, when they chose that line to be the line for it, you know what I mean? It's such a weird line to have be the line for, uh, you know, Onyx. Okay, so what we want to do here is Will-O-Wisp. 
because this will uh, make it so Onyx's attack is way weaker. And even if uh, we, uh, you know, die, uh, we now have him on kind of a clock. So now we'll just um, simply do as much damage as we can with our good old Galarian Ponyta. And we should just have this one in the bag. A little bit more strategy apparently will just win us the game now. I think we die in the next Bulldoze unless this is a crit. Or maybe we can take one more. But we definitely won't be killing this Onyx with our uh, Pokemon. The funny thing is though, is this is just t uh, chip damage. Hey, we get to have one more attack in. We got it to use its berry. That's actually really good. And because of, and we're also making it use a lot of its bulldozers. I don't know how many how much PP that move has, but uh, if it doesn't have too much of it, we could actually make it so then he can't keep using it. Uh, but I think both of these. I think we'll, we'll use Dreo just because thumbnail. Razor Leaf. That isn't super effective, right? No, it doesn't look good. <laughs> I think that isn't super effective, right? But yeah, as you can see, we had we literally had Rapsy on the team, or Rapsy. Literally, so then we could just actually burn a Pokemon to make it less threat, uh, less less deadly. Uh, which would ordinarily be the Arshin, but we didn't need it this time, so that's nice. <sighs> we fucking did it. We finally fucking beat the bastard. <sighs> I took you for granted, and so I lost. As proof of your victory, I confer on you this, the official Pokemon League Boulder Badge. This badge enables the use of Flash outside of battle. Of course, you must have the hate gem in your bag along with the Pokemon that is able to learn it. <sighs> Wait, take this with you. A TM technical machine contains a technique for a Pokemon. Using a TM teaches the move it contains to a Pokemon. A TM is good for multiple uses, so don't hesitate to use them on your Pokemon. Anyways, TM39 contains Rock Tomb. It hurls bold, uh, boulders at foes and lowers its speed. It's also 95 accuracy in this game instead of the 75 it was in Ruby and Sapphire, which really makes it feel way stronger than it should be. Oh, thank god. Uh, one thing that is cool is now the limit to how leveled we can have our team be is way higher. Also, we have more stuff we can buy apparently because we now have access to super potions and such. Which, that is a really cool little touch. Uh, I think that we'll actually keep our money for a bit now. Um, I don't think we'll... Uh, honestly, I want to be just catching a bunch of Pokemon. It's so much fun uh, at the moment, just catching a bunch of Pokemon. But um, one thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to basically completely change up this team. Um, and the reason why we're going to do this is we I want to kind of really change up the team. Maybe keep one or two Pokemon. Um... Uh, and then at the end of the series more so, we will, you know, kind of choose who will get to be in the end team uh, together. I think that would be a very cool way to do it. Um, so, which one am I going to keep um, for the next part of the game? I'm going to be keeping Smazzy. So, we'll be storing all of these other Pokemon. The reason why we're choosing Smazzy is because the next Pokemon uh, leader is... Uh, Misty, and Misty is a water uh, specialist, so if we have a water type Pokemon, uh, you know, we kind of just have the advantage there. So what other Pokemon will we take? Well, uh, we could obviously take Feng Min, which would be a kind of funnier option, uh, but I think uh, Mareep is kind of cool. I think that we will take uh, Gyagus just because I want to, like, while we still can, I would like to get some uh, use out of uh, some of the Pokemon. Um, hmm. 
I don't know if Rockruff is able to fully evolve at that point yet. Um. Hmm. I love Aldi Wi Fi. So much. Um. Such a funny name. I really. Well, let's see how many Pokemon we have, and then uh, I'll probably catch some Pokemon as we move along. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to fucking grind my ass off. I guess for now we'll keep two Pokemon. Uh, but we'll choose one that we haven't really used much, so we'll be use, we'll use like Arthur Cox or something. Um, and then we will grab like uh, we may as well keep grab our starter, which is Zenified, and we'll grab. I guess we'll start getting levels on Ninkada because we do want to obviously get um the evolved version of that Pokemon. Uh, getting that ready at least. So we'll now turn on the EXP share, which I turned off previously. So that we can now actually uh, level up way easier. Yep. Uh, we should now be good to actually be able to play the game. Hey, leave! Oh, hey, leave! I'm gl glad I was able to find you. Normally, I'd be here to send a gift from your mother, but it appears that she doesn't want to see you in this game. <laughs> That's so mean. Anyway, this professor forgot to give you this Dynamax band. Oh my god. Oh, really? Oh, Dynamaxing. Like, I thought that was Mega Evo Evolution, and I was actually hyped. Huh. I guess they don't want to immediately cuck you with, uh, unfun. Um... Excuse me, you looked at me, didn't you? Oh, I get the joke, because you have to actually look at her to initiate the fight. That, that's clever. Glamau? Okay. Look at these Pokémon being fucking level 10. Use death. Man, it's gonna be so crazy for the rest of this episode being like, remember when the game was so fucking hard that it took Cody like fucking 10 tries? Not really, but like 7 tries to fucking beat Brock. Only to have like the next uh, part of the game be super easy. Ozfuzz is leveling up. So the good thing about Ozfuzz is uh, when it gets to level 16, it will evolve. Same with uh, Charmander, and after this uh, episode, obviously I'll do some grinding, uh, do some Pokemon catching, uh, and try to find a lot of cool Pokemon, and we'll try to have our po- oh my god, Poison Touch, that's, that's a mean, I like Poison Point a bit better than Poison Touch, let me be honest, but um, yeah, I do want to, like, I'll try to find really cool Pokemon that work against Misty, and any Pokemon in general that would work later on in the game, obviously. Because I do want to try to catch as many Pokemon as I can. Ozfuzz. Jandis. Kind of sounds like Candice. Um, we're going to have to go and immediately uh, heal at the Poker Center. Which is a little bit lame, but uh, poison bad. It seems like money is such a problem. Until we get like the versus uh, thing, which you get in a uh, Vermillion, money is just such a massive problem in this game. Because as soon as you get the versus seeker, you can verse Pokemon trainers again to get more money, and it really helps. Uh, you know, allowing you to actually kind of do shit. Hey, I saw you in Viridian Forest. Is this person going to have like two bug Pokemon that are now fully evolved? Oh no, they had a three. What the hell is Dotla? I didn't answer my question. Um... I guess just Shockwave, it's the higher damaging move. Shockwave is going to do good against Misty's team, but we are going to need a Grass type probably. Um... Oh, that's kind of annoying. 
Um, but the grass type could simply be um, like an oddish or something, which I'm sure there is. I'm using struggle bug. Also, one thing I'm thinking is that every single move that could have the chance of lowering an attack, like lowering a stat, always does that. Which, yeah, it does mean that there's way more strategy and things like way more reliant on like, do you want just absolute power in a move, or do you want like your team to be more about like lowering stats and stuff? Uh, and then because of stat, uh, because of the fact that you have to be set, it does mean that uh, it really changes things and makes things harder and cool in that way. But it also just makes it freaking annoying. So I mean, it's a double-edged sword. So I have this one. I'm just gonna keep using shockwave. Well, not if you're gonna do that. I wonder if you're able to, um, like, use Toxic on a Pokemon, right, in this mode, and then do, like, a, like, a, gr like a, a grinding strategy, where, like, against that Onyx, right, we use, um, or, like, well, I guess, like, with the Onyx, you'd use Burn, um, and then you just have Counter, and then you just, every single turn, you do Counter. Oh, no, that doesn't, yeah, you still take the damage. Um, Fury Attack, let's see what that does. Nah, it's not worth it. I don't like moves that aren't, like, super accurate. Like, if it's 95, then okay. Ancient Power, that's actually decent. Uh, cause that's, uh, 60, but it's special though, so... Obviously, Growl, I guess we can remove. Uh, getting, uh, Charmander evolved into Charmeleon would be really sick. Ozfuzz is now going to level 10. Um. Oh my god, it's Snom, everyone's favorite Pokemon. No, oh, actually, no. Gen, uh, Gen 8 had two favorite Pokemon. It had Snom and Wooloo. It's funny how the fat, round, uh, animal, anim basically just an animal Pokemon are always the favorite of the Pokemon community. Wooloo and now, uh, what is it? Is it Pachunk? Lechonk, that's what it is, Lechonk. Fucking such a- I can't wait to see what the shiny is. I hope it's like, pink instead of brown. I think that'd be really funny. Like if it was like, shaven. You beat me again? How dare ye? Um, and one thing I will say- <laughs> I like shorts! They're delightfully comfy and easy to wear! Uh, one thing I will say is I will record all of these uh, videos in four episode segments. So. Uh, I will be reading the comments as they come out, um, so do leave comments, obviously I guess with that logic you can always just leave comments on the fourth video, but I would actually love to see people, you know, give comments, even if it's just a simple like, you know, I want to be named after this Pokemon, or something like that, because hey, like if you do want to, if there is like a Pokemon you absolutely love, um, we could always name you after them. Because uh, that's what YouTube community is for, and that's what I want in these videos. I think Pokemon's a really good outlet for that, for having a... Being able to shout out my uh, viewer base and my subscribers and all of that. Uh, which is part of the reason why I chose this game. Other than the fact that uh, it's just a really cool fucking game. Uh, that my friend 2Ds was like, yo, do you want to do a Nuzlocke? And I was like, yeah, sure! And then I played it and I was like, no pain! And as you can tell from the fact that we lost to Brock like, seven times, yeah. It was probably a good idea that I didn't immediately try to Nuzlocke randomize on my way through this game, and instead just actually enjoy it. Ozfuzz grew to level 11. Cotton Spore, that lowers speed, correct? It's grass, low speed. Sharply reducing speed, that's actually really good. I think we might keep that. That could be really useful. The one thing that's annoying though is it feels like you die really quickly in this mod. Um, so it doesn't really feel like you have enough time to really super set up against a lot of people. I don't believe it! Uh, I know one thing that we could do is if we do get a Ninjask, uh, we could use the Baton Pask Ninjask combo, which is, uh, I think you use Swords Dance, um, and then at the end of your turn you get one thing of speed. 
and then you use Baton Pass to immediately transfer those buffs to another Pokemon, and then you try to sweep with them. And it's a, a pretty decent uh, strategy. And that could be kind of cool to use that strategy, um, which is part of the reason why I want to actually level up Ninkata, because that just seems fun. Gigas is now level 12. Xenified is now level 13. We're literally just going to be, like, tearing through this game for a little bit. I think this Joltik actually can't do anything to us because of the fact that, um, if it tries- Oh no, yeah it can, we're going to have to switch. I think we. Oh no, I, w I would want to. I want to switch. We'll switch to uh, Zenified actually, because Zenified has a uh, fire type. Look at that fucking Charmander, so fucking cute, so eager to fucking kill. Dude. <laughs> oh no, my energy. Anyway, damn it, he's smart. Oh, is he? No! You can't kill my Pokémon! I send in dead Pokémon? So funny. Oh, Dustox! That's so cool. We use Ancient Power. We may as well try to get those stat buffs. That doesn't do much. I really do like the night and day cycle. They do obviously need to have it as a feature because like uh, Umbreon, uh, Espeon, Dusktox, uh, Utafly, you know, there's a bunch of Pokemon that level up through the day and night cycle, so... Uh, evolve, rather. Fire Fang! That's actually really good, we actually want that. Um, we'll take that instead of... I guess we'll take it instead of Scratch, because we don't really need Scratch. I don't know if we'll keep Xenified for the gym, but I think, uh, at least to get it evolved, I think is a cool little thing. Who knows, I might even use it just for this area. I might switch to it instead of, um, uh, Smazzy for a bit. Arthur Cox is now level 16. Ozfuzz is level 13. Smalls is level 10. Greg is no more! If I had more Pokemon, I would have won! That's what bitches say. Hey, we now have six Oran Berries, which means that we are way more consistent in our teams. However, I want to switch these two around. Um, I then want this one to level up, uh, and then... Yeah, okay. I feel like it's really going to be one of those games where, for a while... <laughs> hey, you're not wearing shorts, what's wrong with you? <laughs> what, are you, are you gay? Yes. Well, I don't know, but maybe. Zigzagoon! Galarian form! <laughs> Get fucked. See, that Pokemon actually could have done something to us, though. And that's the funny thing, is it could have actually done something to us. I think one thing that could actually be cool is uh, the fact that, um... I think we'll get to Mount Moon in this episode. Um, but I don't think we'll get too far in exploring it. So we could actually, um, the look you gave me, it's very intriguing. You looked at me like you just want to not do this game. Arpansia, do I have a move for you? It's so cool though, just being able to see all these like newer Pokemon just casually be thrown out in an older game. Um, I guess we use Brick Break now. Because we don't want to wait, uh, we only have one more PP for that move, uh, the Rock Doom. Giygas is now level 13. We'll probably give Giygas a spin soon. Um... We'll, we'll try Fire Fang. This is a Fairy Grass, I believe. What does that do? Oh, okay, that's fine. 
You know there's an ability for that called battle armor, right? It does the same thing, you don't have to use a move. Well, I guess that's, the, yeah, that's why, like, has Endure ever been a good move? I want to know this. Comment down below, has Endure, the Pokemon move, ever been good? Because I feel like every single time I, like, see that, I'm just like, why would you not just choose a Pokemon that wanted, that had sturdy? Okay, this one's going to be an easy sweep for our Pokemon. Uh, death? Could you imagine, like, fucking biting into something, fucking flash firing it, burning it, and then as you're eating it, it just turns into, like, you know, cooked meat? That sounds fucking amazing. It sounds also really creepy. Smiles is now level 11. Surskit. Let's go send out, um... You know what, let's send out Ozfuzz. Because uh, now our other Pokemon is definitely going to be, um... Uh, definitely going to evolve. So we may as well go for the uh, the Pokemon that we don't know is uh, that isn't going to evolve yet. Also, Jesus fucking Christ. Stop lowering my evasion. Oh, that's only evasion? Okay, I don't I thought it was a uh, hit rate. Oh no, you're gonna hit me with bubble. Your 100 accuracy move. Oh no, the battle's over. Get walled on. <laughs> Wool Woolu Mareep combo. Damn, we almost got freaking level 15 on that battle. That's crazy. Done like dinner, okay. Well, Xenophyte is evolving! We're probably gonna box Xenophyte. Um, we might even do that. We we could even do that now, rather. But we'll probably do that after we get to the end of this route. Uh, actually, no. When we get to the end of this route, I'll be buying a bunch more fucking Pokeballs. Um. But yeah, like once we get to the end of this route, uh, we'll definitely do that. Incinerate seems super useful right now. Um. Just because of the fact that it burns berries, and almost every single time, our opposition is using a berry. Um, we're not using... Um, that uh, Xenophyte as much now, so we don't really need it as much. Um, yeah, so Oz Ozfuzz we want to get evolved. As soon... Because Ozfuzz we're actually going to use for the Misty fight, so we actually are going to... Uh, oh my god, they're using what we're using. That is the funny. Uh, we'll use Cotton Spore. Um, because we, we know that we're not going to actually fight this Pokemon, so we may as well just slow it down. And then switch into something that we can actually use to fight it. Such as Aomanky. Which originally was called Goku. Because I have no creativity. This, uh, this fucking Mankey though, I actually have a lot of hope in it. Because, uh, if we get a crit, uh, with Karate Chop, um, we actually get uh, a bunch of, uh, benefits from it. Karate Chop! Wow, even paralyzed, we move faster than it because of the uh, cotton spore. Come on, give us that uh, sweet, sweet justice. Charge? What does charge do? That just ups your special attack and defense rate. How much of a boost is it though? Like, if it's an actually really high boost, then it could actually be really useful. But if it's only like a 1.5% boost, then it's like, okay, but like, not the craziest. I guess we'll give it a go against Misty. Uh, Gigas is level 14. Cross Poison, that's what we want to see. I knew that, uh, they would have something cool. Oh my god, that's actually insane. Yeah, we're definitely gonna use Beedrill for a bit. We might even use Mega Beedrill when, uh, when we get that. They only had one Pokemon? Oh wait, what? We are, we evolved this quickly? Wow, we're getting a lot of evolutions today then. I 
I guess the next thumbnail will have to be uh more a uh, more accurate because we uh, I was really thinking I did the thumbnail before this episode so we're gonna actually save up now uh, because it is now the end of this episode uh, but I would like to just we'll, we'll like hang out a little bit more talk about some shit and stuff um, but yeah I really honestly thought that um we didn't level up that much but yeah we'll love uh, we'll dump some Pokemon I'll be grabbing some more Pokemon from around the area um, I just really wanted to evolve uh, Xenified. Um, Arthur, we'll probably remove Arthur for now because of the fact that I can actually go and grind. Smiles, we'll dump just because, uh, yeah. I think this will be the crux of our team for now. And then we'll grab three Pokemon from the next route and we'll use them next route. Yeah, because I can't go any further than we've gotten to today. Um, but yeah. Oh, one thing. No, there's actually nothing else. But yeah, so I hope you all have a lovely day. I hope you all enjoying the series very much. And do note the next time, uh, you know, by the time I, uh, these videos have been up, I've I will be able to read all of your comments. So if you actually have meaningful things that you want to say down below, or even just a hi, I was here, then comment down below. I hope you all have a lovely day. I hope you all enjoy the series very much. And like all the times, have a lovely day.